Uh, Ken, first walk us through the allegations here. Just what is Senator Menendez being accused of? Hey, Ryan, this is one of the most extraordinary political corruption cases against a sitting U.S. senator in American history. Now, because former President Trump's trial is happening down the street, it's not even the biggest story within four square blocks. But nonetheless, it's a consequential one. Senator Menendez is accused of conspiring to commit bribery, fraud, extortion, obstruction of justice. And perhaps most shockingly, he's accused of acting as a secret agent of two foreign governments, Egypt and Qatar. He's accused of taking bribes to do the bidding of those governments. Well, as you said, he was the powerful chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, the senior most lawmaker overseeing American foreign policy. And all or many of our viewers will recall that the FBI uh, did a search of his home and found nearly half a million dollars in cash amidst his belongings and jackets, gold bars. Uh, valued at nearly $100,000. A Mercedes was given to his wife. So that's the evidence. Today, they tried to pick a jury. It's, it's a long slog. They're not even close to achieving that result yet. Um, a lot of folks who were called into jury service were not keen on the idea of a seven-week trial, so the judge is working through that. Uh, remember that the senator is charged alongside his wife, Nadine Menendez, but she is not on trial. She had suffered an unspecified medical ailment, and so her trial has been postponed. But he is on trial with two of his co-defendants who are accused of bribing him. A third co-defendant pleaded guilty and has agreed to testify against the senator. And you mentioned that he's accused of using his office to benefit these foreign governments. Have prosecutors detailed how they think Senator Menendez helped these governments? In part, yes. They've cited evidence in the indictment uh, that, for example, he was helping uh, Egypt achieved certain weapons sales from the United States. Uh, and, and in the in the course of it's a complicated entanglement where uh, he was also helping a, a friend of his who had the halal meat contract with the government of Egypt, believe it or not. And he's also accused of meddling in criminal investigations involving his allies. So it's a multi-prong uh, allegation of bribery conspiracy here against uh, a sitting senator. And so how does Senator Menendez uh, plan to defend himself? Yeah, he has strongly uh, proclaimed his innocence, obviously pleaded not guilty, and we've gotten some hints of his defense. In part, he may choose to blame his wife, uh, because a lot of the evidence in this case came from her text messages and her phone. And she, according to the indictment, was integrally involved in soliciting some of these payments and, and gratuities, and then arranging for him, again, according to the indictment, to, uh, to help with these official actions. And he may say that he wasn't completely on board with all that or didn't know what was going on. Um, he's also going to, the, his, his lawyers want to call a psychiatrist to the stand who would testify that one of the reasons he had cash in his house is because of his family's history in Cuba with uh, that regime confiscating their money. Uh, the prosecutors are trying to keep that testimony out and that is unresolved at this moment. And, and you mentioned jury selection already a long slog. The, the trial itself could last six to seven weeks. It'll be a long time before we know how this one ends up. Ken Delaney, and thanks for being there outside that courthouse in New York City. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.